There are a bunch of infamous side quests scattered throughout the Final Fantasy franchise that are just more frustrating than fun, and getting 5 chests in Final Fantasy X's Chocobo Race is definitely one of them. Fortunately, although the reward of 63 stars is a decent one, you can also get those items from the Monster Arena. As such, I've never really bothered to do this on any of my previous FF10 playthroughs. Unfortunately, if you would like to achieve the Platinum Trophy for this game, then there is simply no way around it. You are going to need to win this race after opening 5 chests. Now, I have seen people boasting online that they have easily done this within just a few tries, and if that's the case, then sure, I say congratulations. However, I'm certainly not one of those people, and I suppose since you're watching this video, you're not either. In fact, I had to spend my entire day off, about 6 hours in total, or hundreds of attempts at this, before finally achieving a perfect run, and unlocking the Chocobo Master Trophy. However, this does also mean I've developed a good understanding as to how this race now works, and rather than let that knowledge go to waste, I've decided to make this video, share these tips with you, and please remember to subscribe to be notified of my future Final Fantasy content. The race itself begins outside the temple next to the Calmlands, with the Chocobo on the eastern side. Now, it is important to understand how this event works. You will be facing off against a second Chocobo, and the goal is to get to the centre of the map before your opponent. Pretty basic, right? Well, the complication is that there are six treasure chests scattered around, and you need to open five of them before finishing the course. Unfortunately, the timing required to do this needs to be pretty much perfect, and this is complicated further by the inability to control the camera. This means that every time the screen changes scene, your chocobo will simply switch direction, potentially ruining your attempt. The Yellow Menace also has a seemingly natural tendency to want to run against the edge, which you will need to compensate for, because when the chocobo is edge running, you are moving more slowly. Now, I'll share some tips for handling the bird later, but ultimately you are going to need to do this multiple times to practice, and eventually how to control the analog stick's movements correctly is just going to get burned into your brain. Right, so let's talk about the opponent then, because there does seem to be some bad information online about how this works. It is certainly the case that the other chocobo has different fixed times that it can finish the race at. The ones I noted are 29.4 seconds, 33.3 seconds, 35.1 seconds, and then when it's at its slowest, 39.6 seconds. Now, the only chance we have at winning this race with five chests is when our opponent is in its slowest form and requires 39.6 seconds to reach the finish line. If you've already read online guides about this event, then you may think that luck or RNG determines which of these times the opponent will finish the race at. However, that is not the case. Rather, it's your performance in the race that is the sole determining factor in your opponent's speed statistic. The faster you open, the first three chests in particular is most important. So, for the first chest, you need to reach this at no later than 6.7 seconds into the race. You will then need to reach the second chest by 13 seconds or less. And if you manage to do this, then you will spawn the slower opponent who will finish the race at 39.6 seconds. And you can confirm that the slower opponent is the one that spawned because it will not become visible to you until you open the third chest. If you are seeing the competing chocobo when you open the second chest, then you have spawned a faster opponent who will finish the race at 35.1 or 33.3 seconds, making it impossible for us to win. As a side note, if you ignore all the chests and simply go for the finish line, then the opponent will reach it at 29.4 seconds. When you first begin to learn the route and the controls, you will often miss the chest time targets and spawn the faster opponent. That's normal, don't worry about that. Simply use that time to practice your technique until eventually your timing does improve and you will eventually reach the point where the slower 39.6 second opponent is the one that is spawning much more consistently. The most finicky aspect of this race are the controls themselves, so here are some tips to help you on your way. Try and approach all five of the chests directly head on, because if you are at the edge of a path when reaching a chest, your bird is going to align itself automatically with a slower manoeuvre, and that's going to cost time you simply don't have. 
But now let's go through the course itself. So, when waiting to exit the gate, keep the analog stick pushed over to the right, and the moment the race begins, move it up. This first section is going to be a pain because you're going to need to practice controlling your bird down the center of the path in order to prevent edge running. Now, as you are opening the first chest, make sure to push the stick straight up and that will move you up the ramp once you've landed. As you are opening the second chest, push the stick up but slightly to the right, I guess in a north northeasterly direction. This will again take you up the ramp. When the third chest is being opened, push the stick straight up. Now, as the fourth chest is opening, push the stick directly over to the right. And finally, when opening the fifth chest, push the stick to the bottom, but slightly also to the left. If you have run a perfect race up until this point, you will then drop down at the center of the map in front of the opponent, and that downward analog stick position you just did will quickly block him behind you. However, if the enemy chocobo, and yes, I call it an enemy now, is in front when you land at the final section, then you cannot win and need to improve your timings throughout the previous parts of the course. While we are on the subject of using the controls, a few people online have noted that for them, it was much easier to complete this race using a keyboard as opposed to the PlayStation or other controller. Now, of course, if you're playing the PC version, you have a simple choice. You can either use a controller you own or you can use the keyboard. But if, like me, you are using the PS4 version of the game, you can still use a keyboard, but there is a bit of setup involved. So I'm going to go ahead now and show you how to do that. In order to actually use a keyboard with the PS4 version of Final Fantasy X, we're going to have to use a little bit of software. For example, we're going to need the PS Remote Play app from Sony themselves, and we're going to need to have this on a PC that is relatively close to the console so that we can get a good streaming connection. We're going to need to get the ReWASD software. I'll leave links to all of this stuff in the description. Now, this is a paid software, but it does come automatically with a trial license, which is what I'm using, and that gives you full functionality for two weeks. And then what we need to do is select a program or game here. So we're going to add, and we're going to type in PS Remote Play. Doesn't really matter what you call it, but obviously makes sense. And then what we're going to do is add a config profile. So we click this little white button up here, import from file, and then make sure you download this, which I'll leave a link to as well, config one, click OK, and you will then be greeted with this screen. So over here we have our keyboard buttons, and over here we have the PlayStation buttons that they are mapped to. Now this config does miss the options button, I'm not sure why it hasn't added it on so we can do that manually and we are going to need to because we need to click the options button normally on the controller in order to get past the intro screen in Final Fantasy X it's the only way to do that so select add and choose any button that's not being used by anything else I'm going to go ahead and look for the home button there it is and then we just need to map it to the button on the controller that we want it to be associated with so let's hide keyboard we don't need those controls we do need the PlayStation highlighted there. And let's go ahead and find that options. There it is. See? And that's pretty much it. So all we need to do now is select apply. Okay, so the controls are set up so that enter is associated with the cross key on the controller. I'm actually only using the keyboard right now to do this. And once we have the intro here, we can just tap the home button. Uh, okay, so all we need to do is use the keyboard here. Press enter to speak to the chocobo. Select ride, and then again, you can use either the W, A, S, and D keys or the main arrow keys. And don't forget, you don't need to press anything to actually open the chest. So you don't need to worry about that. Just run up to the chest and the chocobo will do that for you. As I say, I don't particularly like using the keyboard. I did it for so many hours with the controller that to me, this just feels weird if I'm honest with you. So, yeah, it's not really for me. But I know that I saw people online saying that for them it just made things so much easier. So I did want to cover all bases for you guys. Very briefly, a word on the coloured poles that you see scattered throughout the course. 
Now, if you want to attain the 63 stars prize, you mustn't touch any of those poles. However, the poles themselves are not related to the speed of the opponent, despite what other guides have said, and they also have no effect on earning the trophy. So if the trophy is all you care about, then accidentally touching any number of those poles throughout the race won't in itself matter. I do believe that's just about everything covered then for this particular event. If there's any additional information I think of after this video is posted, I'll make sure to update the pinned comment. So do check that out in case there is anything new to be shared with you. But if the video has helped you, please don't forget to drop a like and go ahead and share your own thoughts in the comments to this particular Chocobo race. Let us know how you found it. Did you manage to get the trophy? Congrats if you did. And if you got the 63 stars, as well but thank you so much for stopping by i hope you all have a wonderful day you can take a break now put your feet up you've worked hard and i'll see you next time